The jet was actually a little bit of a surprise to Piedmont. The turboprop was being phased out. Our operation is not necessarily suited to large jets. We do short routes. We have smaller airports, and a lot of it is designed around a smaller regional jet. It was new to us. Uh, we took it as a new aircraft, even though it wasn't a new aircraft. Um, but some of the benefit of that was also learning from other operators and their experience as well as Embraer on what some of the problem areas were. So we were ready for it. As far as for the aircraft itself, just looking at it, setting on the ramp, it looks like it's going fast. Uh, you know, a lot of people call it the dart uh, because it is uh, long and sleek and pointy. And the pilots I talked to uh, love flying it. Things that I enjoy about the 145, it makes you be a pilot. It makes you fly. I enjoy telling the plane like what to do and when to do it. And in my opinion, it made me a better pilot. I do enjoy, you know, getting to cruise and, you know, I pull my thrust levers back a little bit. Or when I come into land, you know, I'm having to work the power to, you know, deal with all the wind and everything. It's just a fun plane to fly. A lot of the basic design features for the jet are based around a transition into jet flying. The 145 is unique because it is a smaller aircraft. It has 50 passenger seats. This airplane is very logically designed. A lot of people have heard rumors on the flight deck that it's small and sometimes it can be small when we have a jump seater in there but most of the times that the seats slide back and then they slide over. So we do have a lot of room in the flight deck when it's just both pilots in there. The two plus one seating is a little unusual but it does it gives you a seat that's both a window and an aisle. The flight deck is very low to the ground. It uh, flies at low speed, a lot like turboprops do. The gear and brakes are incredibly robust for the size aircraft it is. I feel like the safety margins are set pretty high on the 145, so it's a great uh, jet aircraft to start out with. The 145 engines, uh, they're very uh, reliable. They are controlled by what we call a FADEC. The good thing about the FADEC is that anytime they sense an issue, they'll report it back to uh, to us, so we can uh, you know mitigate that issue for us in maintenance. That is a, a a great feature that that we can have. People that call the aircraft old, I, first of all, you, you need some experience flying it. I've yet to to fly an old Embraer 145. Both American and American Eagle have invested heavily in these aircraft because it, it seems to be performing. Um, exactly to, to what we expect it to do. Even though the aircraft model itself is out of production, uh, the corporate versions of the business aircraft are still in production, so that means parts are much more readily available. As it turns out, five years into operation, it's a very reliable aircraft. Uh, our mechanics are very well trained on it. I think our maintenance actually does an incredible job keeping the airplanes uh, up to date and keeping things running, like the APUs running, which helps our AC in the summers, which is great. And yeah, so the airplanes look great. They deliver aircraft that, that, that work on a continuous basis, you know, when they start 6 a.m. and they keep on going until late at night. In the community, uh, you'll hear a lot of guys say, you know, oh, you don't have auto throttles or oh, you can't couple to VNAV for an RNAV approach, which is true. But does it need it? No. Those I don't consider to be drawbacks. As you move on in your career, you're going to be flying Airbuses and much more automated aircraft, and you're going to look back fondly on getting to fly an actual jet. But when you learn and understand these systems, you're really going to appreciate and understand the benefit you're getting from more modern aircraft. A lot of the experience you'll get at Piedmont is something you won't see again in the airline industry afterwards. We fly to some interesting airports, mountainous terrain, uncontrolled airports. I feel that the 145 is one of the last few unique aircraft. I think Piedmont is going to be uh, very stable in the coming time. You know, I don't think our 50 seat aircraft are going anywhere anytime soon. And all these smaller airports are, you know, the perfect place for the 145 to go. Once you get confident with the aircraft, it's a very nice plane to fly. Um, there, it doesn't seem challenging or overwhelming. I'm very proud to be flying it, put it that way. At this point in my career, I don't think I'd, I'd want to be flying anything else. I'm excited. I'm happy to go to work every day. I look forward to flying the airplane. The plane puts a smile on my face. The aircraft, it's a beauty to fly. I wouldn't change it for the world.